Today's Roller Coaster Fanatics, and welcome out to a Roller Coaster News, so... We've got the Coaster Jacket. It has returned. It's been a while since we've done a Coaster News. we got some news to talk about. A couple things have happened. It's mainly SeaWorld based. Let's start off with... The construction update for Invader. I got to go to the Christmas time event on New Year's Eve. Um, that was probably the closest time around when they had a pretty good uh, start on Invader. So here is the footage that I got for you guys. All right, may I just say, what a freaking awesome station. Wow, look at that thing. That is what you call a theming right there. That is amazing. And then of course, the beautiful lift hill. So now they're getting ready to start the first turn. They have not done the first turn, but they have gotten everything up to the lift hill and the pre-drop, I'm going to call it. Um, and then the track is starting. So it, co it goes around and the track is starting. I can't wait to see the other part of Invader. And it of course, it looks like the queue line is going through. And look at all the theming that has come up because of it. This thing is going to be amazing no matter what. And I am very stoked. This thing is going to look fantastic. And just by looking back when I entered New France, you could easily see this thing so this thing looks larger than it actually is it is once you get close up to it it looks small but from back there it's really cool how you can see it far away and it's kind of secluded which is going to be really nice um, in the main park of course when you're on the train you'll easily see this but it's going to be really cool that this thing is going to be secluded and as you can tell that lift or the, the supports are all steel so, that's going to be amazing. I wonder where the front entrance is going to be. I'm guessing it's going to be this right here. You go through this building as the front entrance. And then this little thing right here is the exit. But I have no idea. We'll have to see what they think. Um, I just hope that they have a long queue line and it's heavily themed. But I, I'll take whatever I get. But I love, if you look right there, those, those spikes. The spike port, um, pitches, I guess. I forget what they're called. But it looks amazing. And I, I, I'm getting more and more excited. Only about from when this, when I'm recording this, it's about three months away from opening, and it's going pretty good. But I'm, I have a feeling that it won't open on opening day. But it depends on how fast they get everything all up and running. We will have to see. So it is hard to tell, but they've actually got quite a bit of work done. There's of course one of the airtime hills, and then of course they have the first turnaround done over here. Uh, of course, log flume is in the way. Um, and then the first drop has not been done, but I I, I, I believe they're gonna they are gonna start working on that as now the lift hill um, is somewhat close to being done. Um, also, the first turnaround, I'm gonna have to move this. Sorry, hold up. So the first turn actually has all its wood up now. So that is good. So far, progress has definitely improved on Invader. They definitely have to work with the terrain on this one. I'll definitely uh, try to go on the train to show you what the uh, what Invader looks like. Exit to your right. We have approached right the Invader you construction. Of course, we've slowed down, but here stay on board. is the progress for Invader. There's the first airtime hill after the first turn. I'm guessing they'll wait until the park closes before they do anything over the train. That's why I'm guessing all the other stuff is gone first, but wow. There's so much to look, take a look at, so I'm going to be very quick because the good news is we're going slow. That is going to look great. And then they've actually started progress over here. They've got that, that airtime hill down. And then they're getting the footers in just nicely. Here's another look at over here. I'm trying to get everything. So far, I am very impressed. I am excited. It's going to be a great year for Bush Gardens next year. They're going to have a great coaster in their hands. There it is. There's where the drop will be. It's going to go right over here. There's the pipe for a drop, I believe. And there's the hill. It's going to turn right where that train is, actually, which is really interesting. 
so I had to work around that. And then the turn coming into the brake room, so the helix will be right down here. And this will be the brake rest. They got that big footer down. Still working on the lift, so not too much, but that is on Invader. So, back to the CFP. Yeah, so Invader is getting good progress. Hopefully, it should be ready by opening day, which is March 25th. I'm not sure yet, but we will have to see what progress is going, and hopefully, it should be op uh, it will open on opening day. If not, it will probably be like uh, what, it, what it was with Tempesto, where it opened uh, on like the 25th of April, so like a month probably after opening is probably when Invader might open, but we will have to see from there. Also on the topic of SeaWorld, SeaWorld San Diego just announced what they're going to be adding for 2018 already this early 2017. And they will be getting a Skyrocket 2. Now I'm not a big fan of the Skyrocket 2's, like I like the first half but I don't like the inverting loop part of the roller coaster. But these are, this is going to be a great fit for SeaWorld San Diego. They do not have a giant, big, thrilling roller coaster. They have the water coaster, and then they have the family coaster, which is a great family coaster. But something for the thrill seekers will be needed, which other SeaWorld parks do have. You have like Manta, Kraken, Mako, and Orlando. And then at San Antonio, they have Great Whites and Steel Eel. So, they need, so SeaWorld San Diego was the last park to really get something and... What it, what it's looking like, Electric Eel, it looks great. I love the theming that they're uh, providing for this. And I think that's what's nice. Even though, like what Six Flags has done with 4D coasters, they're taking, uh, SeaWorld's taking a cookie cutter ride and now starting to spread it throughout their parks. But the one difference is, and this is a good thing in my opinion, at least they're giving it a different theme in a different realm. That's what I like that SeaWorld at least is doing, unlike Six Flags. So... I think for SeaWorld San Diego, hearing that they are landlocked and they don't have a big thrilling roller coaster, this is nice. This is going to be a great ride for them. It's probably, a lot of people are going to consider it better than uh, Manta, but for the coaster enthusiasts, people might, might put it above Manta or not, depending on if you like a nice, uh, fun family coaster, which Manta really is. I've heard it's a great family coaster, so... Who knows? We'll have to see. But 2018 is looking like a great year already. We just started 2017. Alright, to wrap it all out, we got some opening dates. So save these dates if you are in these areas. So of course, we have King's Dominion. That is opening March 25th. Same as Bush Gardens. March 25th, that is a Saturday. Save those dates. And if you live in Ohio, the opening date for King's Island is April 15th. Save that date. If you are near Kings Island, make sure to head out there. And those are the dates I have for openings right now. Uh, I don't have a lot. There's probably a lot more out there. But as of now, those are the dates that I know. If you live near any of those parks, save those dates. Head out there and go have some fun to start off 2017. So, that will end it out for this Coaster News. I'm the Coaster Fanatics signing out of here. Thank you all for watching. And as always, Roller Coaster Fanatics, keep coasting.